Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope so all of you will be very fine and I welcome you once again in my this uh, video lecture and this video lecture is related to morphemic analysis let's see what is this so this is lecture number three with you and that is related to morphemic analysis it's a very brief introduction means that uh, I wanted to make it easier for you that's why I have provided a very brief introduction here and in the next lecture I like to give you a detailed description that how to conduct morphemic analysis learning outcomes of this uh, video lecture would be based on two points the first thing is that the atoms of words the other point is how to do morphological analysis so the atoms of words words can be chopped into smaller pieces in that they can be broken into smaller pieces at the phonological level words can be divided into syllables or segments and segments into their constituent phonological features so this is what happens at phonological level but at the morphological level words may consist of more than one unit as well which we may call the morphological atoms of a word that is pieces that are no further divisible into morphological support means that at morphological level uh, this is the level where words are means that divided into pieces the minimal division whatever is possible in a word at morphological level means that those pieces cannot be further divided just like that uh, it's being said that uh, at atom level at the smaller pieces level right it is just like that uh, just to provide you concept here are three points given the first point is that atom is the smallest unit just like that and in phonological level phoneme is the uh, smallest unit and at morphological level what is the uh, basic unit that is morpheme right so let's see that just as there are different kinds of atom in chemistry there are different kinds of atom in morphology and it is quite useful for morphological analysis to be acquainted with their classification so what's happening just like that there are different kinds of atoms in the same way in morphology for morphological analysis there is specific classification a good classification is important analytic instrument developed in order to get a better understanding of the structure and formation of words mean that if you want to know the structure of words if you want to know the formation of words it is very important to have analytical understanding of the word if the students have analytical understanding of the word that helps them a lot to improve their word formation and their understanding about structure of words so this is at morphological level and how to do morphological analysis the term morphological analysis and morphemic analysis are alternatively used when we do morphological analysis then we are asking questions like uh, what pieces does this word have that which are the pieces in this word if we are uh, making morphological analysis what does each of them mean mean that that is related to meaning and how are they combined so there are three questions first is related to the word piece does this word have that is related to the structure the other is related to the meaning semantic level and how are they combined that is related to their combination in in general when you are asked to do any sort of linguistic analysis you will be given a set of data words are set data from some language that generally isn't but occasionally is English and asked to find patterns in it. Generally, whenever there is 
a question to do morphological analysis is you are asked to conduct analysis from a language that is not not generally English in that other languages are used so that you can have more understanding about morphological or morphemic analysis. The example is given here just like Cree and what is this Cree? Cree is a dialect. Cree is basically a dialect and a dialect continuum of Algonquian languages spoken by approximately 1,70,000 people across Canada. So this is a dialect and this example is picked from there. It's just like in the first example you can see that Chi Man means that canoe, canoe, right? Canoe, that means boat, right? And if there is in the next word you can see that ni 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 chi man means that my canoe right so this addition of ni that means that my that that becomes a possessive pronoun so niya so niya means that money ni so niya when ni is attached then means that my money so, viyash, viyash means meat, ni viyash, my meat. So, here from these examples, the difference is you can feel that this is just because of ni that, uh, that is the meaning of my. So, out of these examples, at least one concept you can have that ni means my. So, this is how uh, words are analyzed morphologically. This is morphological analysis. When you don't know anything about the language, what happens then? Find a pair of words whose English translations differ only in a single way that's relevant to the task at hand. So this is this is the trick being discussed here. So here means that we want, we want to get the meaning. So how will we get for example, ni uh, chi man means canoe. So ni chi man means that my canoe. So this ni tells us that this is this is equal to my. So we come to know with the difference. That what is difference in the next example and what is over here so we can get the meaning. Find the corresponding difference in the non-English words often some letters will be added or the word will be changed in some systematic other way making of this change in the non-English word therefore produced produces the relevant change in the English meaning so this is what happening by the addition of ni ni over there right check your theory find another pair of foreign words whose English translations also differ only in this relevant way and make sure this pair of foreign words change in the same way as the last. So this can be the check uh, your theory that whatever the meaning you are getting out of knee, for example if meaning we are getting knee that is my if we check some other some other words in the same language we will make it verified that knee means my. So this is the way. So we'll uh, encounter kinds of morphology that are more complex than this, right? So morphological analysis is complex than this one, but this basic method of looking for forms with minimal differences. So what are we doing? That we are looking at the minimal differences and figuring out how to describe that difference is always a good approach. So means that as we have found the difference over here in this example, right? So this can be a good approach to understand the morphological structure of the words of a language. So that's all about the basic concepts. I think that uh, this is what I just wanted to share with you that you should come to know that how can we morphological 
or morphemic analysis. This is just a brief introduction. The detailed introduction will be given in the next lecture. I hope so that if you have this basic concept in your mind, you will be able to understand morphemic analysis or morphological analysis very easily. Because I was thinking that if I put the further details just in this lecture, it may be very uh, difficult for you to understand or grasp the concept. So I have picked just one example for you and given you the basic concept of morphological analysis. I hope so that for the next lecture, you will be prepared just having understanding about the basic concepts of morphemic analysis given here. So that's all about the morphemic analysis and I hope so that uh, as you have seen in, in the beginning that can be done just like that there is analysis at, at phonological level that in, in phonological level the basic unit is being seen and what is the basic unit in phonological level that is phoneme so there are 44 phonemes in English 20 vowels and 24 consonants right so in the same way at morphological level you should have understanding about the uh, types of uh, morphemes as well that uh, as we have done in the previous lecture as there are bound morphemes and free morphemes and how is there further division you should have understanding about that if you have understanding about uh, the morphemes types of morphemes uh, then I hope so that you will be easily able to uh, understand and grasp the concept of morphological analysis. So I hope so that for the next lecture you will be prepared and for that purpose I suggest that if you are to understand lecture number 4 you must go through lecture 1, 2, 3 at least so that lecture 4 you can understand very easily. Nice of you. Thank you very much for joining this session. Stay blessed. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Allah Hafiz.